Hi, it's Amy from Indigo Junction. In today's Shop Talk video, I am going to discuss apparel sewing for the quilt shop. We all know the new normal and the challenges in today's retail landscape. To survive and thrive, bricks and mortar stores now must provide experiences that cannot be replicated online. Today I want to talk about apparel sewing being part of that strategy in your store. Really, we are talking about making your quilt shop a fabric store. So let's start out with the shopping experiences. You need to make an emotional connection with your customer, encouraging staff to have fun and be friendly. Customers need to look forward to visiting your shop and know your staff will provide them not only with a creative community, but good advice for their showing projects. Recommendations for fabric and patterns that work for their individual style and shape are part of the experience you can provide. Also, giving them a chance to hold up fabric to their body is a key to choosing fabric that cannot be done in front of a computer or on a phone. It is an experience that requires a visit to your store. So now let's talk about the process when you sell a garment pattern versus a quilt pattern. First off, chances are you already have that customer walking through your doors. Many quilters learn to sew by making clothes and just need you to show them something they would like to make and wear. This leads me to quote Apple's founder, Steve Jobs, one of the most successful retailers in history. Customers don't know what they want until you've shown it to them. So now let's chat about fabrics. Keep in mind, Indigo Junction patterns are designed for quilters cotton that you already carry in your shop. Yes, having a variety of substrates is ideal, but you can definitely get started with the cottons you already stock. Here are several popular patterns that work up nicely in traditional wovens. The Everyday Tank, the Gathered Back Top and Tunic, the Asymmetrical Top and Tunic, the Easy Top, three lengths are offered in this pattern, the Slight Sleeve Top and Tunic, and the Raglan Top. And what I'm wearing today, the Button Back Shirt. Beyond cottons, linens, rayons, and lawns are wonderful choices. As far as patterns, top sellers will be tops, tunics, vests, and jackets, but don't be afraid to bring in a dress or two and our artisan pants and modern gourd skirt pattern. Pick patterns that match well to your customer and also have a range of patterns that appeal to a broad age group and body type. I saw this quote in a YouTube comment this morning that was timely for today's discussion. Jane posted on our Shop Talk video about pop-ups. She says, I want to tell you how much I appreciate that you are producing patterns that will flatter those of us who do not have the standard, well-proportioned figures. That being said, Indigo Junction can be your go-to pattern company for catering to that wide range of customers I mentioned previously. Showcasing the patterns you sell is the best with sample garments on dress forms and staff wearing the clothing in your store. This is an excellent way to market both patterns and the fabric line. This brings to mind advice from shops that are thriving in fashion. First, when people see a sample and want to make it, price is usually not an obstacle. Even better, they often choose more than one outfit to make, where the quilter may only want to buy one project knowing the time involved. Clothing patterns can be sewn up more quickly, resulting in the ability to finish projects and return for more. Also, think about your time selling one three yard cut of fabric versus the time it may take to help your customer pick out and coordinate fabric for a quilt. Another good point that was made by a shop owner was, if you can't persuade the quilter to show for herself, get her started sewing for her kids or grandkids, and be sure to have that alternative option ready to suggest. 
Our girly gourd skirt comes to mind, as well as our mommy and me apron patterns. I love the possibilities that what's old is new again. Kathy from the shop Creations in Tur Turville, Texas, whose advice I shared in this video, she and I have been waiting for the resurgence of making clothes, and it's here. We wanna make the most of it and hope you do too. Please consider our pop-up shops and trunk shows for your store. In my 27 years selling patterns in this industry, I have never thought the time is more right for garment sewing to be a key to the future of our bricks and mortar quilt shops. We currently have pop-up shops in the following fabric lines. Riley Blake, Textile Creations, Amy Butler, Island Batik, Diamond Textiles, Allison Glass, Cotton and Steel, and Art Gallery Fabrics. If you will be traveling to Portland for Quilt Market, be sure to look in these fabric companies' booths for samples we have created in many of our patterns. Also, be sure to email us at info at indigojunction.com to have us register you for our shop owner's email list so you always get the updated news on our resources for retailers. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow both Indigo Junction and Amy Berkman on Instagram. One more very important action item. We have an Indigo Junction Sewing Pattern Facebook group that you need to join. It is where you will see testimonials of our happy customers and where our community shares struggles and successes. I will put all the links I've mentioned in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please share feedback in the comments and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.